What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and let's go ahead and start breaking down the XUV 865R Signature Edition. Now, starting with the model number, this is going to be the same as all other John Deere Gators. XUV here is going to stand for our crossover utility vehicle. Then our next digit, the 8, is going to indicate that this is in the full-size crossover vehicle series. Then the next two digits here, 65, is going to indicate that this model is a diesel. You could also have a 35 here, which is going to indicate that the model is a gas. Now, the R here is going to be our trim level. So on this machine, it is going to be an R series trim level, meaning it's going to have the most features available. But also, whenever we add in that signature series package, there are going to be some features on this machine that are only available in that signature series. And I'll point those out as we go around the machine. Starting here at the front, let's go over the most obvious addition to the signature edition gator which is going to be the pro series brush guard here at the front now this is going to be the first of those options that are specific to the signature edition series so with this pro series brush guard here what you're going to get is the extra large bumpers here in the front that are going to be made out of that durable rubber material so if you're using this machine for pushing open gates and using it to move certain things maybe around your property you do have that extra protection and then you're also going to have this graded protection here in front of your air intake on this machine so if you happen to have any of that debris that's trying to push through you do have a good solid metal protection right here in the front to keep those things out of your radiator. Now, also here at the front of the machine, some of the things you're gonna notice is you are going to have LED headlights. You're also going to have working lights here in the roof. You are going to have a full cab on this machine with heat and air, and you are going to have the windshield wiper installed on this machine. Now with the R series package, whenever you have a windshield with a windshield wiper, you are also going to have a fluid reservoir for windshield wiper fluid, which I'll show here in a minute. Now also at the front of this machine, you are going to have a two inch receiver here in the front and an area specifically made below the radiator here where you can add a winch to this machine. Now, whenever we need to get underneath the hood on this machine to get to those HVAC components and also to such things as our cooling components like our radiator. You can easily open this front grill. You have two pull outs here. You're going to pull out these hooks. Then we can pull back here on that grill. Then we're going to have two rubber tabs on each side here that we can open up. And then this hood will raise up and this is going to expose us to the underside here. We're going to be able to see all of our HVAC components. We're going to be able to see our power steering fluid reservoir. You're also going to be able to see your radiator cap there on top and then also your fuse panel over there on the driver's side. Now moving along to the driver's side of the machine. First thing we point out is we are going to have rear view mirrors on this machine. This is going to be the same with any cab model that you get as of 2023. So we are going to have the rear view mirrors here. You are going to also have one on the inside of the cab, which I'll show here later, but you do have plenty of visibility with this machine. Now everything here on the side is going to look the same with the signature series. The only color scheme that you're going to be able to get is the standard John Deere green and yellow. So you do have the color panels here in the door with the green hood and the green panels along the side here and at the rear. Now as far as wheel and tire options, you are going to have the alloy wheels, the yellow and chrome alloy wheels, but you do have an option for either the Predators that we have on here or the Maxi's Bighorn tires, which we can show a picture of right here. Now, like I said, the 865R is gonna be a diesel machine and your diesel cap is gonna be located over here on the driver's side, right behind the door. And this is gonna have an 11.2 gallon tank. Now, here at the rear of the machine, we are gonna be able to see two more of those John Deere Signature Series specific features. One of them is going to be the rear sliding back glass. Now, this is an option that you can later on add to your other cab machines, but the Signature Series is going to be the only one that comes from the factory with that sliding rear glass. And you're also going to have the John Deere Signature Series badges. So these are going to be these chrome badges here that stick out just a little bit just to add that extra flair to the Signature Series. Now, as far as the bed goes, the bed is going to be the same as you would see on all of your 8 Series Gators. It's going to 
gonna be 52 inches wide by 45 inches long and 12 inches deep. You are gonna have that spray in bed liner here in the bed itself. You're gonna have the bed rails on the sides for tie downs and you're gonna have the four corner tie downs in each point. You are also gonna have that pickup style tailgate that's very easy to drop. This is gonna have that easy to remove tailgate and the easy to remove sides if you want to turn this machine into a flatbed. Now, also what you're gonna see on the rear of this machine is you are gonna see a rear protection package. So we're gonna have the rear bumper along with the rear fender guards and also the rear fender flares. And then you are going to have the lights already in this machine. So we are gonna have the rear lights and the backup lights in this machine. Now, if you want to, you can add turn signals to this machine. This is gonna require you to put two turn signals in the front and then connect the wiring harness here at the rear to make sure that you have turn signals all the way around this machine. Now, as far as the capacity goes here in the bed, you are still going to have that thousand pounds of cargo capacity here in the bed using it in the machine. So whatever we're putting back here, whether it be gravel, rock, wood, whatever those things are, you can carry up to a thousand pounds. Now, also here at the rear, not only do we have that working capacity, but once again, we're going to have another two inch receiver hitch right down here at the bottom where we can put in those different trailer hitches. So if we need to pull a trailer, you are going to have a 4,000 pound towing capacity. So the weight of that trailer, plus whatever you have on it, as long as we're not exceeding that 4,000 pounds, you will be able to pull it with this machine. Now also here at the rear you are going to have dual A-arm suspension. That is going to be the same at the front. So you have that four-way suspension all the way around to make for a really nice ride on this machine. And you're also going to have adjustable shocks on each corner at each wheel of this machine. So if you need to adjust that ride, if you need to stiffen it up for those heavy loads in the rear, or you want to loosen that ride up for a little smoother ride, you have that option. And you're also going to have that shock spanner tool already with your machine, with the operator manual when you purchase this machine. Now, another one of the Signature Series exclusive features on this machine is going to be the addition of a rear facing camera. And that is gonna be located right underneath your tailgate right here. So right out of the way of any damage, it's nicely put right back here at the rear. But now normally this would be called a backup camera in most vehicles. But the reason why this is called a rear facing camera is because you can actually access this camera, whether you're going in forward or reverse. So if you're using this machine for a spraying application, you're pulling a load, you want to be able to check on that. You can turn this rear camera on at any time on the infotainment center, which I'm gonna show more about when we get in the cab, we can turn this on at any time that we need to. Now, this is another one of those features that is going to be standard on all of your R-Series machines. But since we're talking about the bed and the cargo box here, one of the things that you are going to have on this machine is going to be the power dump bed. So you're gonna have a switch here in the cab to be able to dump this bed. That way you are not having to do this manually. Now, also, once we open up and raise this bed, this is where we're going to gain access to our engine. So this is going to be a 22.8 horsepower diesel engine right there underneath the bed. So right here, two of our main points of service that we're going to need to know is we have our oil fill right there on top of the engine and then also our dipstick right there towards the rear of the engine. Now, once we move over to the right hand side of the machine or the passenger side of the machine, we really have only two main focal points. First one here is going to be our air filter located right outside the passenger door right here, easy to get to. And then also this panel right below our air filter is going to be a very important point. We simply push down on that tab and then pull out on our panel. And this is going to expose us to the fluid reservoir for our windshield washer fluid, also to our battery right here and then the charging point right here to our battery that way if we're having to jump this machine we're not having to completely get underneath to the battery we have a charging point right here and a ground point right here so now let's get into the meat and potatoes of this deal and really talk about a few more of those features that make this signature series stand out from the rest of the R series gators. First one is going to be the leather wrap seats. This is still going to be a three seater. It's going to have that 4060 bench seat here. So you have the driver's seat 
that is going to be adjustable fore and aft. Then you're gonna have your 60% bench seat over here that is going to have those seat belts for a third passenger here in the middle. Now you're also gonna have the sports style steering wheel and you're also going to have the leather wrapped handle right here that you can grab onto. And then as you're getting into the machine, one thing to note is that you are going to have the rubber floor mats in the machine to add to that grip whenever you're getting in and out of the machine. Now, one thing to point out, like we talked about, this is a fully enclosed cab. So you are going to have all the amenities of that fully enclosed cab. So once we close the doors here, you're gonna have your door handle latches here to open. You're also gonna have your grab handles right over here. And then you're gonna have your manual roll down windows right here. Very easy to do, just as easy as that right there. And these windows will roll all the way down so that you can use the whole opening here on that side window. Now, these doors are also going to be on shock, so they are going to have that little bit of resistance. That's not only gonna help them stay open, but it's also going to help you when closing that door just like that. Now, we already talked about some of the switches over here to the left. You are gonna have your raise up and down for your bed here is going to be your headlight switch then if we move over here to the right here is going to be our four wheel drive engagement switch this is our rear differential lock here is going to be our windshield wiper and fluid so if we turn the key on that is going to give us power here to our display now a lot going on here on the display so what we're going to have here is going to be our speedometer we're also going to have a fuel gauge right down here then we're going to have our engine temperature gauge and our rpm gauge over here to the left then if we see this little icon right down here this is where is going to come into play our four-wheel drive and differential lock so right now we can see that we only have one set of wheels illuminated so if i hit that four-wheel drive now we are going to see that we have all four of them illuminated and then if i hit that differential lock switch now we're going to see a lock right down here showing that those rear wheels are locked into place. And if I turn those off, we'll see those lights go back off here. Then right here in the middle, we are gonna see our indicator of what gear we're in. So on this machine, we do have a gear shifter right here that is going to have park, reverse, neutral, high, and low, all right here. There is no more parking brake down around your feet. All of that is opened up to where your park is right here on the main gear shift. Now, going back to our display, if we want to, we have the option of changing this brightness. So right here is going to change your brightness. So here we're at 40%, 60%, 80, and 100. So a very, very bright display. Then we are also going to have this info button here where we can change from our odometer to our trip, to our hour meter, and back to our odometer. So this is also going to be an adjustable steering column. So we're going to have a button here that we can push in and then pull down on our steering wheel to make sure that we get that steering wheel in the position that's comfortable for whoever is driving the machine. Now, another one of the exclusive features is going to be the infotainment center here. So this is going to be that touchscreen system where if we want to change from those different radios, from the Sirius XM, to the AM, to the FM. We can also set our presets here for our favorites. We can also go into the home menu here and change to media. So this is gonna be a deal where we can add a Bluetooth connection to this machine, or we can add an auxiliary cord to this machine or plug in a phone cord with our two outlets right down here. This is going to have a USB connection right here or an auxiliary connection right here so you have those options whenever you are in this machine now we've been talking about that rear facing camera so whenever we are needing to use that rear facing camera we can hit that button right there and now we can see exactly what is behind us in that camera we can turn that off if we need to then once we go ahead and start up the machine Now we can hear what that machine sounds like. We also are going to have that HVAC system on this machine. So we have that air blowing at us right now. You can go ahead and turn that off. This is gonna have an AC button. It's also going to have an adjustment for either the hot or the cold. And then also an adjustment for which ones of those fans we want blowing on us. Now, whenever we're in the machine and we go up from park into reverse, one thing that you'll notice there is once we go into reverse, as we are right now, that camera is not automatically gonna come on. So if we want that camera on, we do have to hit that button 
to turn our rear facing camera on and then push it again to go off. So that is gonna be one of the differences is that it's not going to jump into that rear facing camera as soon as you put this machine in reverse. So keep that in mind that if you need that, you have to push that here on the infotainment center. Now, once we move over to the right from that infotainment center, we are gonna have this button here. This is going to be for those roof lights that we showed a minute ago. And then uh, some more features here on the dash is we are going to have four different air outlets here all for that HVAC system. We're also going to have that rear facing camera. We're going to have it here in the headliner, which is a nice addition. You are gonna have the microphone here for your infotainment center. We're going to have those sunshades that flip down. You are going to have the windshield that does have the flip out here. Very nice feature there. Now you can either close that all the way or we are gonna have a spot right here if we wanna have a little bit of that fresh air coming in that we can lock that in or we get just a little bit of breeze from the outside. Now in this machine, you are also going to have six cup holders. So that may seem a little bit excessive, but you're going to have one in each of your door pockets. You're going to have one right in front here of your driver's seat, and then three over here in front of the passenger. Now, whenever we're going back and we're talking about our infotainment center, one of the other special features to this signature series is that you are going to have a seven speaker system. So you're going to have a tweeter up on each one of the corner posts. We're gonna have a speaker down below the bottom of the dash over here on each side. We're gonna have a speaker up in the corner panel at the top on each side. And then we're also going to have a subwoofer underneath the seat right here. We are also going to have a 12 volt outlet. So if you need an additional charger, you do have the option of that. And then also you are going to have your glove compartment right here. This is also gonna have that pop out already built in for if we add that winch in, it has that pop out already pre-installed. Now, along with the subwoofer underneath the seat, you are going to get a large storage container in here. Right inside is where you should normally see your operator manuals. If they are not in the machine when you go to purchase it, make sure to ask your salesman about those operator manuals because not only are you gonna get the, get the one for the machine, but you're also going to get one for the infotainment center. So very important that you have both of those manuals. Now, like we talked about before, this rear sliding glass, this is gonna be here from the inside. We're gonna have a simple trigger system that is going to allow us four different positions that this sliding glass can be at. So we can go from a quarter of the way open to halfway open to all the way open right there. Very nice feature to have if we're needing to grab things here at the rear or just want that natural airflow through the machine. Now, along with that, you are also going to have the dome light in place. You are going to have the rear paneling in this machine. You're gonna have all of the corner post covers with the plastic on them and like we said that headliner now all of these things may seem like silly and a little bit extra for this machine but anytime you're adding the corner post covers the headliner the rear panel not only are these acting as a nice visual feature but these are also going to be sound baffles and temperature regulating baffles to make sure that you are keeping that temperature inside the machine as you want it and also to reduce as much noise as possible in the machine and then to finish it off, you're also gonna have this really nice John Deere Signature Series badge right there inside the machine. Now, lastly, let's talk dimensions, warranty, and price. So as far as dimensions go on this machine, lengthwise, we're gonna be 132 inches long. Height, we are going to be 87.2 inches tall with the antenna connected. Now, this machine does not have the antenna installed on top yet, so with the antenna, uninstalled, we're looking at 80.2. So just make sure that you are accounting for a little over 87 inches if we're looking at getting this into a shed or a garage, wherever those places may be. Now, as far as width goes, we're gonna be right at 70 inches wide. And then weight wise, we're gonna be 2,535 pounds without fuel. Now, remember that this is a diesel machine. So whenever you go in and you add that 11 gallons of diesel, you are gonna be adding a little more weight to this machine. So if you're looking at putting this machine 
machine on a trailer, just make sure that you do have a large enough trailer to move this machine around. Now, as far as warranty goes, we're looking at a one year, 1000 hour warranty, whichever comes first, that is gonna be a full bumper to bumper warranty, but you do have the option to add that additional warranty at the time of purchase. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure and check that out. Now, this is the diesel model of the highest spec machine in the largest series. So this is going to be, as of 2023, one of the most expensive gators that you can buy as of today. So on johndeer.com, on their website with the list price, you're looking at for around 41,700 41, for this machine as it sits. So just make sure that whenever you're looking into this machine that you are aware of that price so you do not get that sticker shock. This is a machine that is capable of doing all sorts of things. A lot of times we get that comment of, well, I could buy a pickup for the same price that I could do this by this machine. But the things that you have to keep in consideration is the tightness of the machine, the places this machine can go, and all of the luxuries that you are getting with this machine. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just asked that you'd hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're needing any John Deere parts at all, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.